Hi, I'm Yoshiro Yamabe. I'm working at NTT Software Innovation Center. And now I'm investigating about remote direct memory access, RDMA technologies. Today, I will introduce about RDMA's overview and case studies and several implementation techniques and my conclusion. Sorry. At first, I will introduce about RDMA features. RDMA is low latency and low CPU overhead, but hard to implement technologies. For example, in simple pinpoint micro benchmark, RDMA's latency is about one fifth of IP over with latency. However, RDMA program requires programmer to implement and understand several low level mechanisms. So in previous benchmark, RDMA's program is about 600 lines, uh, 600 lines, but TCP IP program is only about 300 lines, about half. But RDMA's merit is very attractive, so I try to make use of RDMA potential. I apply RDMA to MXNet, an open source distributed deep learning framework. MXNet adopts parameter server architecture and this figure shows parameter ar server architecture's processing flow. At first, each worker calculates parameter, and second, push parameter to parameter server node, and parameter server aggregate them, and last, each worker pull parameter from parameter server. There are two times of communication for each batch, so I think RDMA is effective for this model. By applying RDMA, the data flow is changed as this figure. In existing implementation, there are four memory copies for each push or pull. User to user memory copy, two user to user memory copy, and two times of kernel to user copy. But in RDMA implementation, the user to kernel memory copy could be reduced. So there are only two memory copies per each push or pull two memory copies are reduced. But in ideal RDMA implementation, the user-to-user -user copy should be reduced. RDMA can read parameter directly. But it is very, very high cost, so in this work, it is out of scope. It's my future work. And in addition to RDMA's memory copy reduction, RDMA implementation techniques is very important for achieving high performance. This table shows four representative implementation techniques in this work and the implementation status of each step. Step zero is my first implementation and step two is my latest implementation. A first technique, argument operation, means which argument operation is to use, argument write or argument read. In this work, we, I used argument write only, so all step using argument write. And second technique is detecting completion. The way to detect completion is two ways, polling or interrupt. Polling is high CPU overhead but low latency, and interrupt is high latency but low CPU overhead. And third technique is ring buffer. It is the same as socket buffer in kernel layer. And last technique is separating detect threat, completion threat. It is same as uh, separating receiving process and data processing data process into user to kernel in TCP IP. I want to emphasize the third and fourth technique is important. RDMA can bypass kernel layer, so RDMA can reduce kernel to user memory copy, but RDMA also bypassing kernel layer tunings for TCP IP. So programmers should be implement several kernel layer tunings into user programs. It is very important, I think. And the result, step two is one and a half faster than step one implementation. I am very happy, but existing implementation is also fast, as same as step two. But there are still other tuning, so RDMA can be faster. So next step three implementation is faster than existing implementation, I hope. And conclusion, RDMA is efficient, but several techniques is 
needed to achieve high performance. And as a matter of course, it is needed to choose appropriate applications for RDMA. In this workload and environment, network load may be not adequate. Tesla Volta 100 is very fast and the Cypher 10 is lightweight. My conclusion, to enjoy RDMA effect easily, libraries providing RDMA design patterns are needed. And true zero copy RDMA implementation is needed for higher performance. These two is my future works. Thank you for listening to my presentation. Thank you.